Hey guys, coming to you tonight with a subscription box video for the month of May. I know I have not been up on it and I keep telling you guys when I do post one that I'm going to do them individually again and I promise June is going to win with that. But um, I've been working on a new background area, a new filming space, new lighting. Um, I'm still working so you guys can give me your thoughts down below but until then I do have subscription box extravaganza video we'll start with my ipsy bag um and I know I'm super late getting this up this month I've had some of this stuff for a little bit but I loved the travel theme of this bag this month I did several different colors I know purple and a pink um this blue I'm not sure what else but um Love it, it's cute. Love that it opens like an envelope. Thought it was a really cute concept. Um, I got the greetings from postcard. Everyone, well, there's different, some different ones, and you can mail it in and be featured on Ipsy. I won't be doing that, but <laughs> um, so the first thing that I got in my bag was some Sue, Sue, I think um face masks i've got a brightening collagen essence mask um and then soothe smooth radiance and then a collagen essence mask and firming and elasticity and this one is lifting and radiance so i'm excited because i'm really really into masks these are korean masks they are sheet masks which some people completely cannot stand and I like them a lot so I'm excited um, the next thing in my bag I think it's a little bit because of the packaging is um, an Inspur eye brush and it is there's the Inspur and it is a 282 fluff eye brush so I think this will be great for blending Increase work stuff like that so really excited about that I'll wash it and hopefully reshape that the next thing in my bag is called remarkable people um, it looks to be a fragrance uh, et libre de orange um, fragrance and you guys this is a generous size sample it is not the typical little samples and it's a sprayer so happy about that let's we like that I'm a little stuffed up so it's kind of hard but it's just very clean and light and it's tiny a tiny hint of citrus it says grapefruit, champagne, cardamom, jasmine, curry, black pepper, gourdman, labdan, labdanum, I'm not sure, sorry about that, and sandalwood. You know, I think it smells, it's coming across to me fresher. Some of those things like um, cardamom and black pepper and sandalwood are a little more muskier, but I'm getting a little bit fresher something that but I am enjoying that. So... The next thing in here is from Jelly Pong Pong, and it's a Caribbean Sun Bronzer Duo. Um, I'm not already gonna say that I'm not sure about this because it's such a small package that if my bronzer brush is gonna fit in here. Um, oh, those are actually really cute, and I'm kind of thinking eyeshadow. So it's in the color Aruba, and we'll just do, oh, they're really creamy. So, yeah, they go on pretty decently. Um, yeah, I would definitely use those as a shadow. So, liking that. Um, Next is the It Cosmetics um, Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. Um, I don't need to open another eyeliner, but 
but I'm just gonna show you guys what the actual mirror looks like. Uh, but I'm always curious to try them because nothing stays in my waterline ever. Um, so I've never tried the eight cosmetic ones. So I'm excited. We'll see. We'll see if that'll be the magic one. But I have tried everything and I set it with shadow everything and it does it does not stay so but anyways that was it for my bag for my ipsy bag so let's move on to let's do morphe really quickly because this one is short and sweet this month um they started putting a, a card in which is awesome because it tells you what they are and i believe it has the um, retail prices as well so that's really exciting they also started doing a points thing if you're interested in that you get points by being a subscriber gets points by um, having people subscribe um, with your code I'm not sure if you can earn points by shopping with them I'm I don't know about that but um, the first brush is the E1 from their new, they're launching a new Morphe Elite 2 collection. And this is from that collection. This is the brush itself. It's gorgeous. It's super soft. Um, it is very densely packed. So this would be a really nice powder foundation brush or if you need a heavier application of powder it actually I know it's big but it actually seems like it would be nice to buff in foundation and it's a little big for that but it's just so soft I, I I might try it that way but anyways the next one is the M441 oh that that E1 retails for $22.99. And here's the 441 brush. Tip, it looks like a great blending brush. Large crease brush for your transition shade. So excited about this one. This is the M, though I'm not doing well tonight, you guys. That one retails for $5.99. And then this one is the M443. 433 excuse me and here's what the uh, tip looks like on that and this one kind of max um reminds me of a mac 217 i don't have one but i've seen it and so i'm excited because i don't have a super good dupe of it so we'll see you guys let me know is that a dupe of a mac 217 or a similar shape anyways just curious so anyways that one's 5.99 as well so um way over the $20 value. I have been enjoying this subscription so far and their customer service has always been great. So yeah, on to my boxy charm for the month. Um, here is the card. Spring vibes, it took me a second with the flowers. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. It's night time, so and the products and their prices and I will definitely tell you all of that. Um, there is a pure coupon. Um, use Boxy code BOXYCHARM for 25% off anything this month if you are interested in. And speaking of, the first thing we got is a double-ended um, eyeliner and I am excited I have one from pure in a different color and I'm excited to get a navy blue liner period so let's take a quick look at this guy it's in Bora Bora um, it has a felt tip on one side we'll just do it on the arm which is really nice that tip I think it'll be nice and then it has um, a pencil liner a no sharpen one which is super creamy and glides on smooth so this is the felt tip that's the pencil really pretty colors and um, just something different for spring and I 
have wanted and needed a new blue liner. So, yeah, the next thing in here is a Starlux and BoxyCharm lip liner called Charm. That looks like it's going to be in a gorgeous color. I have some Starlux lip liners from Boxes, and they're they're nice. So, happy to have that. This is a nail nail polish from Ella and Mila, I believe. It's a cruelty free five free polish and it's made in the USA. This is, for some reason I expected it to have like a fat cap, I don't know why. Um, pistache, which is cute, like pistachio. The color is gorgeous. Um, you can see my nails need done really badly, so that might be on there soon. I've just been so busy cleaning and reorganizing that it hasn't been worth it to do them. Oh, this next thing, sorry guys, is clear water resistant brow gel. I have a couple of brow gels open. I have a clear one and a tinted one, so I'm not going to open this. Um, I am I was just going to look into the packaging. I'm curious to see how big the wand is, but again, I want to use up um, some. But if you guys are curious and want me to update when I open this, just comment. I will. Um, but a clear brow gel is always nice and always looking for a good one. So the next thing came real wrapped, and I can see that it's a makeup product. They have this as a spoiler this month. So we were all getting a Makeup Geek blush. They just launched, have launched, or are launching them soon. I'm not sure. Um, and this is in Covet. I like the Makeup Geek packaging. I think it is very pretty. And oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Like this gun metal -y color. That's Covet. And, oh, it has a mirror, and that color is amazing. It's pretty soft. There we go. It's kind of a orangey, corally, but mauve -y color. It's like a mauve with warm undertones, and I'm really digging that. I don't have anything like that, so that I know of. <laughs> Who knows, I might pull it out, but I'm excited. I'm not thinking of anything off the top of my head that's like that, so. And the last thing in here is the Catherine Malandrino perfume. I believe we got one of these last month, or the month before, I cannot remember, but I enjoyed that perfume. And so let's. Mm. This one is a little more flowery. It smells good, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's me. I might pass that along to my daughter because we generally do not have the same taste in perfume. She always smells good in what she wears, so it must be our body, body chemistry because I don't appreciate the scent she wears on her on me and vice versa most of the time. So but it does smell nice. It just doesn't seem like a me perfume. So yeah, that was BoxyCharm. And then you guys, my last one for this month and the last one that I will be getting in, these are gonna be my boxes for a while, is the Play Box. So here we go. Um, they opened up, I don't know if they just opened up areas or just everywhere recently, but um, yeah. And so, um, I think they've changed the way they did it. They, it looks like this now with your pamphlet and your bag. So the pamphlet is really cool because they talk about the products in detail and they, um, kind of give you an explanation of why they chose what they did. And then, um, this little card is important because you can bring it in for an advice and a one-on-one -on -one tutorial if you're interested. Some people have their own personal thoughts and opinions on getting beauty advice and tutorials from Sephora, and I'm to each his own. 
but also if you purchase anything, you get extra 50 points just with that. So I'm not sure how long they're good for. That's something I need to look up um, to see if you have a, like a time limit to use your, your bonus 50 points. But this little bag is so cute. I want to keep it for something and I have no idea what, but I'm going to keep it. Okay, they always send a perfume sample and they sent this one and it is Altier Cologne, um, the orange sanguine. I actually had this little guy, it's just a little dabber sample. Um, it smells really nice, it is very essential I do enjoy it. Um, and I have one of those already. I'll probably just use it. The next thing in here is by Coors. It's a Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Facial, Sleeping Facial. Um, so there is that. I'm not exactly sure if it's like a, a mask. Oh, a weightless souffle that melts instantly into the skin for intense hydration. So it's, it's a, a really intense night cream. So that's what that looks like. Pretty generous. I mean, you can get a few nights out of it to see if you would enjoy it. And the play box is only $10 a month plus tax. So that's pretty nice for the higher end things. This is Bite Beauty because all of these brands are sold at Sephora. This is in Kimchi. It is a little mini, which are so adorable of the Amuse, is it the Amuse Boucher? Boucher? Yeah, I think Boucher. And this is the color, is gorgeous. So I'm excited to try this out because I've not tried one of these lipsticks yet. So, excited for that guy. Uh, the next thing is the Borgio Don't Despair Hair Repair. And you know, I have some of this and um, I, that I've gotten in box, or sorry, Birch Box in, past, in the past. And um, I've never tried it. I have it just sitting there because it hasn't gotten around to my daughter, but I'm finding I want to use hair masks more and more. So I'm really excited because I've heard wonderful things about this mask. So I'm excited to have more of it. Um, this is from Origins, and this is the maskimizer, which is, this is a mask primer, um, and the idea of this primer is you spray it on your face, and it's supposed to, um, be a pre-mask treatment and help the mask sink in and do its thing better, and I've seen some reviews of this and I've been wanting to try this out myself, so I'm really excited that I have a sample because if I like it, that will definitely go on my wish list. Um, it also comes with the Clear Improvement Charcoal Mask and the Drink Up Intensive Overnight Masks, two of their most popular masks from Origins, so I'm really excited. Their skincare line is really fantastic from what I've heard. And this is a Tardiest lip liner in later gram, which is really awesome because I have a little tardiest lip paint that I think this will go great with. So we'll try it out plus a number of other colors. It seems to be a great neutral color. So I'm excited for that. And that was my Sephora box, you guys. And I'm really happy with my boxes this month. They did great. I have a great mix of nice skincare, nails, hair, and makeup. So what more could you ask for? Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about any of the products, want any more like a detailed review or where you might be able to find them or anything like that, just post a comment down below. I'll go ahead and answer anything that you want me to and I will see you guys next time. Bye.